Hey, Emily, are you there? Yeah, I am. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you so much for doing this interview. I appreciate it. <laughs> of course. How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, appreciate you for being on the show. And uh, in a very rare thing that we do on this show, we, I usually do call-ins and we're doing this through Skype and you sound very, very good, very clear. So that's awesome. pretty awesome. <laughs> I kind of wish I could record the video portion of this, but I'm not that tech savvy as everybody, so this is the best I can do. <laughs> All uh, right, that's totally fine if it's just audio. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's audio. It's, it's all good. Um, so Emily, appreciate you being on. Um, how's everything holding for you um, as a performer and everything since the whole pandemic has begun. How's everything going on for you? It is pretty well with all things considered. It's, um, you know, taking it day by day and kind of adjusting to the new normal. Um, but just being grateful for the little things. So it's try to, I try to stay positive in times like this. So it's not, it's not been that bad. Yeah. You know, with everything going on, um, a lot of uncertainty, um, you know, as I've been talking these past several months, um, the music industry has been affected very, very hard, um, especially independent artists like yourself that go to shows and venues and bars and restaurants and a lot of these places that showcase live music had to close for a while well a lot of places been able to reopen a lot had to unfortunately permanent close which is very heartbreaking um so seeing everything as a performer perspective as a musician how do you feel about everything with things reopening and being back to perform and everything as as difficult as it is that you know like you said we can't get out and perform as much as possible and that interacting with our fans and and that is just such a big part of being an artist as hard as that is having those closed I do think that um it's important that we obviously put everyone's safety first so mm -hmm. I appreciate all of the bars and places and all of the people that are supporting artists in a safe way, whether that be kind of limiting capacity, having a plexiglass in front, just doing it in a safe way, I think is definitely the right thing to do right now. Even, even though we all wish we could go and perform in those shows with the packed crowds and everyone screaming and it, those are the shows that we live for. So it's definitely not ideal, but I do think that it's definitely the right thing to do right now, and, and hopefully it gets better soon. We all can hope for the best, indeed. Uh, you know, as long as everybody do their part, to follow these guidelines, and wear the mask, and be six feet apart, you know, a lot of these places that are reopening, are able to stay afloat during this pandemic. So um, it's going to take all of us to beat this. Um, so it's, it's up to all of us as far as how long, because this, this virus is not going anywhere anytime soon. Um, so that's where we at. Uh, I see that you are a part of Publicity Nation. Um, yeah. So, first, as I always do with these interviews with the clients, shout out to Jill. As always, hard work and extraordinary uh, as usual. Uh, what was it like um, being part of Publicity Nation? How did you became a part of Publicity Nation? Did you reach out to, to Jill? Did she reach out to here? Like, how did that came to be? 
I reached out to their company. I was looking for um, a company that can help with PR, which is exactly what Publicity Nation does in a really good way. I was looking for that when I released my first single in August. And so I reached out to them, uh, obviously having lots of questions and asking if that's something that they can help me with and it's hard for an independent artist to do every single thing that comes with the music um writing recording the creative aspect and then also marketing pr and socials like all of it is for me i don't think anyone can do all of it to the extent that they want to so i think it's really important to have a good team behind you so Super glad that I reached out to Publicity Nation and found them because, like you said, they are super hardworking and they really care about all of their artists and clients that they have. So it's been awesome to make some connections, whether that right now it's all virtual connections, but it's been really awesome um, to talk with a lot of radio stations and and magazines and companies just like yourself um tonight so i'm super thankful for them well blizzard nation has been great to me in 2020 and i'm just blessed to network with someone like jill and and her and all the artists that's been on this show a variety of artists on publicity nation and the support is there and jail's gonna take you to the right direction and all the artists gotta do is show up and do and be themselves and just you know and do them so it's uh, they do a great job putting these um shows together these new music out and uh it's it's incredible uh, for sure you just put out a song recently. It's called Giant. Um, yep. It is best described as a female empowerment song, um, like an anthem of sorts. Um, talk a little bit about the process of recording that song. Um, what was it like recording it and getting the reaction you got from it? So, that song has definitely been in the works for over a year now from recording into releasing it. It does, takes a while to do all the steps in between. Um, but it's, it's a super special song for me. It's my very first song. It's my debut single that is out as an artist. So it's really important for me. I wanted to, introduce myself to the world as an artist and be fully myself and show a little bit of what my journey is like as an emerging artist and a person at the same time. And this song was just a perfect fit for me. I cut this song. So the songwriters are Doug Fulkins and Olivia Awick. And I just remember the very first time listening to the song. It, it it really connected to me. It's like you said, a very powerful, um, empowering and inspiring song for a lot of people. And it's all about how we can do anything if we just believe in ourselves and chase our dreams. And it, it is possible to get there one day. And I remember listening to that song and it's just exactly what I needed at that time in my life. I was finishing university I was in a business degree and, and music was more of a hobby for me. And I remember being at that crossroads of should I try to pursue music as a career or should I go for the nine to five job with music more as my hobby? And I remember it was very frightening for me to take that leap from it just being a hobby to pursuing it as my career. And, and this song, it came to me at that point in time in my life and it it's really helped me believe in myself and push to pursue my music so it only felt right to put it out there as the first song that I released and the just the reaction has been incredible I could not have 
I could not have imagined it any better. All the messages and comments and how it's been connecting to my fans, all of those, when I see those messages, messages, it just, it's just feels so good. And, and that's exactly what I want to do as an artist. I want to be able to create relatable music that people can listen to and make their own and, and grow um, when they listen to my music. And, and so, and it's actually been on the radio, got on Canadian country radio a couple of weeks after it released. And it's already hit over a hundred spins on radio across Canada, which to me is been one of my dreams as an artist. So that, that is just truly incredible that that's happened. Okay, you're getting a lot of love up north from the Canadians, <laughs> eh? Um, that's what they like to say. Um, I got love for Canada. Um, they're cool people, cool people and everything. Uh, so that is your debut song, and it's out on all digital music platforms. So give that a stream. You know, get 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 alongside with your ladies, friends. You know, it's a sing along type of song, I think it could be. Um, now, you gotta be six feet apart, obviously, but just, <laughs> it, you can even have the Zoom chat or Skype chat, like kind of like this one, and yeah. sing along. Uh, Giant by Emily K is out on all digital music platforms right now. So, uh, as far as, you know, let's talk musical influences. A lot of artists have, you know, artists that, inspires them um, in some way, shape, or form. Um, who inspires you as an artist, whether it's mainstream or independent, unsigned artists out there? Who inspires you as an artist? There are so many, and it's definitely, the list has grown and grown over the years. Um, but when I think back on growing up with, I have a very musical family, lots of instruments and music playing all the time in, in my household, which is, I think, helped and helped me kind of in my love and passion for music since I was young. But I just remember like Keith Urban, the very first Taylor Swift album. Um, I had listened to a lot of Coldplay as well. Like it wasn't all at country music. It was a wide variety of genres and and artists and but what but what really has inspired me throughout the years and why I gravitate more to country is the storytelling behind the lyrics and the songs and and I know a lot of people say that about country music but it's just so true like I remember when I was younger just closing my eyes and, and learning every lyric to a song and just creating such a story in my head about this song and and that's what really gravitates me to music and which is what I hope to do with my own music so um those are definitely the ones growing up and and it's been changing over the years right now Kelsey Ballerini is a huge influence on me and artists like uh, Maren Morris and uh, Carly Pierce um Tennille Towns as well like just a lot of those um country artists that write a lot of their songs and share their own story throughout their albums and songs is it's really what I aim to do with my music as well and, and there's also some independent Canadian artists like Elise Saunders and David Boy James and a lot of the artists that are are um, playing around the area I'm from Toronto so um, they're close in the area to me and and they're definitely inspiring me along the way to cre uh, keep pushing towards this music career also i love carly pierce uh, mm -hmm. he's all shout out to carly pierce Gotta yeah do that she sent me a birthday shout out uh, that was pretty cool uh well, so i i like her i like marie morris mm -hmm. i like um a woman that i'm really She's growing on me a lot more as Mickey Guyton. I think that's yes. her name. Um, Spotify has really led me to some representation in country music. Um, like Mickey, like um, yeah. Rena Roberts, um, Ali Breland, 
Um, mm-hmm. So I'm seeing some people of color in country music, and that's pretty cool. I'm like a musical unicorn. I listen to all types <laughs> of music. Um, that's become quite the theme of this song. Like you never know what you're gonna hear in this show. You want you will hear like a hip hop song one week, you hear a country week, country song the following week. Like it's like a smoothie. Show us like a smoothie. You just <laughs> you know, it's it, it. I put all types of flavors in this show, and yeah. I, and I'm cool with that. I mean, just giving artists like yourself the the platform and I definitely enjoy the giant song and I look forward to hearing more from you in the future. So um keep that up, keep doing your thing. Um what are some of the social media links that the uh, people can uh keep an eye on? You can follow me on Instagram at Emily Kate underscore music. Or Facebook at Emily Kate, I think it's Emily Kate Music, and I have a YouTube channel as well. That's Emily Kate. All of the links that you will need is available in my Instagram bio. My Instagram is my main page that I use. So if you follow me there, you'll get all the updates on everything that's coming. And there is a new single coming very very soon. So be sure to. Be sure to follow me and tune in. And like you said, Giant is available on all streaming platforms. So wherever you listen to your music, you can listen to it there. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for bringing such elegance to this show as well. Um, 